Welcome to my channel. 1908. Collinwood School Fire. 1908. The Collinwood School Fire was also known as the Lakeview School Fire. It was March 4, 1908, when at around 9 in the morning, 172 students, two teachers, and one rescuer would all perish in a tragic fire. Many of the students and teachers were already in the classrooms when the fire alarm sounded. Teachers quickly got the children into line for what they thought was a routine fire drill, however this time wasn't just a drill, it was a real fire. The teachers led the children off to the front entrance but found it was blocked already by flames and thick smoke. Scared and disorientated children all started to panic as this time they knew it wasn't just a drill. The children made their way to the rear door, but in the panic, children crowded against one another and fell over each other trying to reach the door. Bodies began to pile up as they packed into a tight stairway trying to escape the flames. Some people over the years have also claimed that the rear door may have been locked at the time of the fire, but it is believed that a janitor had managed to open the door so the children and staff could get out. It is also believed that when the children had practiced fire drills in the past, they were taught to leave through the front entrance only, and at the time of the fire, the younger children did not know how to exit through the rear door. Most of those children who perished in the fire were killed in the back stairway where they were found in a large pile. Only half of the school managed to escape the fire, with some managing to escape through broken windows. It took less than an hour for the inferno to consume the school building, as the three floors collapsed into the basement. Parents who were nearby at the time, came running to the school, desperate to help their children to safety. One report claims that a boy named Niles Thompson managed to escape the fire, but went back into the burning building to look for his little brother. Niles did not return back out of the building and is believed to have died inside along with his little brother. Eight-year-old Glenn Barber, jumped out of the second-story window. He was listed as the final victim of the fire after he passed away three days later from his injuries. The school had already been considered to be a fire trap by many people. Similar designed buildings were found throughout the United States at the time. During the fire, the masonry exterior acted like a chimney, sucking flames upwards. Open stairways also added to the chimney effect. It was found that Collinwood's small volunteer fire department and horse-drawn engines arrived far too late and were not equipped to deal with a fire of this size. Firefighters and railroad employees took on the job of removing the dead bodies from the basement of the school. The bodies were then put into a makeshift morgue. It is believed that around 162 bodies were discovered and removed within five hours of the fire being put out. It was now up to the parents to try and identify their loved ones. Some children had been so badly burned, that they could not be identified. It is also believed that not all of the children were found, and six of these children remained as missing. The origin of the fire still remains unclear even today. Many possibilities were circulated. A lot of people blamed the janitor, Fritz Herter for running the boiler too hot. Other possibilities were that some girls were smoking in the basement, with some even claiming the fire could have been arson. However there was no evidence found to say that someone had deliberately started the fire. The coroner's inquest concluded that the heating pipes running along exposed wooden joists had ignited the dry wood and that no one was legally held accountable for this. However, angry parents of the victims claimed that the inquest was too quick to conclude a cause of the fire. They were also angry that no one was held responsible for the fire. The cause of the fire really could not be determined and had only been speculated and guessed at the time. After the fire, the town of Collinwood paid for the burial of 19 bodies that could not be identified. These bodies were all buried together. The whole nation mourned the loss of these children and teachers in the fire.
the ruins of the burnt-out school was eventually demolished. A new school had been proposed, but the parents of those who had died in the fire objected to this and filed a lawsuit trying to stop this from happening. Eventually the site was turned into a memorial garden, and a new school erected on an adjacent lot. The school was named the Collinwood Memorial School, but this time had better fire and building standards. A memorial plaque was placed at the site of the fire in 2003 to remember the victims of this tragic fire. We forever remember those victims of this tragic fire. May you never be forgotten. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to view other content.